Hey, what's going on, guys? I can't see you. First. Today, this is what's in my camera bag, summer of 2020. Let's go. Alright guys, so this right here is my newest camera bag, it's the Tarion Pro BP-01 and I'm telling you guys right now, this thing is an absolute beast. It is the best camera bag that I've ever owned by far, um, it holds so much stuff, like I literally have every piece of equipment I own in here and it, there's still room, like it's ridiculous. So I'm just going to go through it uh, today, I'm going to show you guys what I've got, i got a whole bunch of new gear you guys have never seen. So I figured it'd be interesting. I love watching these videos. I love making them. So I figured it'd be an interesting one. I haven't really done one like this with my camera gear before. So I figured today would be the day. Uh, and there will be a full review on the bag coming later on once I get some more use on it. I've only had it for a couple days. So I don't have enough on it yet. But so far, I like what I see. So I'm going to start with this main uh, back, bottom compartment, whatever you want to call it. This is where like the majority of my uh, big stuff goes. Lenses and all that stuff. So right in the back here in the bottom. Right now this is empty, but it's the case for my Zoom H5, which is recording this video. That goes right in there. It's also super deep, like you can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. Because underneath that I have my flash, which is just like a knockoff uh, Canon Speedlight. It's by Godox. It was like 150 bucks. Uh, works just as well. I've used some of the more expensive Speedlights before, the 600 series from Canon, and this works just as well. Uh, and it was like a fraction of the price. Uh, going along with the flash, I've got my trigger system, the Tough TTL by Hanel. Um, these work okay, they're a little old, uh, they don't always trigger the flash. I'll probably be replacing these at some point, but I don't really use them enough to invest in that right now, so they're good enough. Down the bottom corner, I've got a set of macro extension tubes, because why pay for a macro lens that you don't really need when you can get these things for 30 bucks? You get a set of three on Amazon, a 13 millimeter, a 21 millimeter, and a 31 millimeter, and they do a great job. I've taken some photos with them already up on my Instagram, and uh, they work fantastic. So those live right in there. Uh, then we get into the fun stuff, lenses. So right here, I've got two of my Canon lenses. This one is the one that came with my ADD. It's the 18 to 135. It is the main lens that come with most of the ADs now. You can, I still think you can get them with the 18 to 55s, but these are the ones that, I mean, you're gonna want this one anyway. You're getting the extra focal range. It's a better lens. It's a newer lens. And uh, this thing is an absolute beast. Whenever I do my talking head stuff here at the table, this is what it's filmed on. It's super, super quiet for autofocus. The USM technology is just unreal. And that goes in there. I usually would like to reverse mount my um, lens hoods, but this one doesn't really want to reverse mount for some reason. So it stays there. This guy is my newest addition. It is the Canon 70-300 to Mark II, I believe. I think it's Mark II. Anyway, image stabilized, uh, USM technology. This thing is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Wildlife photos, portraits. Uh, B-roll, all of that good stuff. I mean, with the image stabilization, the 70 to 300, and on a crop body, you're actually getting more like a 110 to 480 uh, equivalent. So if you're shooting anything like wildlife, that lens is absolutely unreal. And then tucked away in the corner, I just have the dead cat from my Zoom H5. It's kind of like inverted so the hairs aren't all over the place. And that's that. That's that bottom compartment. So lots of room, and that's just, like I said, those are the main things that I use most often. And that's only the one main, com the bottom compartment. So, lots more to get through. We'll go to the outside here. This hard shell case. 
I've got a couple of Sharpies. Nothing too fancy there. This is empty right now, but you've got a nice little zipper compartment here for batteries or you know accessories, whatever you want. In the back, I have my uh, variable ND for the bigger lenses for these two. And then I've got in here a smaller one for my 50mm prime lens, which we'll get to in a second. And that is that. Another top compartment up here. This one I don't really have a whole lot in right now. I just kind of keep it so if I want to put like my sunglasses or my phone or something in there, I can. And then here I just have a little uh, aux cable and a lens cloth. So nothing too big there. Opening up the big, let's say, main compartment, I guess. There's two main compartments, but the front, the top. Here you have like a padded sleeve for like an iPad or something. I don't use it for that right now. I just have extra um, propellers for my DJI, DJI Mavic Mini. This little flap right here, I just keep a uh, micro USB cable, some lens cloths in sealed packages to keep them clean, and then some lens cleaning solution, which is great for glasses, by the way, if you wear glasses. Got that at Henry's. And then, so here's like the main compartment, the big, big compartment. This thing, one complaint I do have right off the bat, this thing doesn't like to stay open with the rest of it, so you gotta kinda hold it while you're going through stuff. Not the end of the world, but like, there's like a Velcro tab or something just to hold it in place. That'd be ideal. Here I have a little kit uh, from Henry's. This was a cleaning kit, but right now I just have extra batteries in there. I keep my battery uh, bank in there, actually, my anchor battery. Right up front, I have my uh, Canon charger for the LPE6 batteries. I got a bunch of these, so there's a couple of off-brand ones. These ones are just by Power Extra for the ADD. A couple of extra batteries there. Of course, I've got one in the camera itself. So there's the camera itself, the ADD, with the 50mm 1.8 on it. And uh, same goes with this. I keep the lens hood on mounted frontwards. That way it's just easy to grab and go, and uh, I can shoot no matter what. Little lens blower. Um, use this every time I change lenses, I'll blow off the bottom element and just inside the camera body just to make sure there's no dust or anything settled in there. Little pouch here from Case Logic. I've just got some AA batteries in here for the flash. Keep that right there. On this side, I've got the DJI little power block here just so I can plug in controller and batteries and whatever I need. Controller goes right there. In the very back, I keep the charging cradle with the uh, extra batteries in there. And then, of course, right in the middle, we've got the Mavic Mini battery in it, ready to go. If I ever want to fly it, I can just take it out, unfold it, and it's good to go. Absolutely love that thing. That is, <laughs> I've been having so much fun flying that so far. It is a blast. And I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but there's another little pocket right up here in the front that unzips, and it's just a little mesh. I've got all my little... SD cards and cases for SD cards. I've got an extra lens cloth and uh, just <laughs> so many SD cards. Really, that's all that is, is my little storage part, uh, port right there. So those are the main parts uh, to this thing. It has a laptop sleeve in the back, fits up to a 17 inch laptop. I've got my laptop in there right now. Nothing too exciting that you haven't seen. Uh, right here, it has a, uh, a rain cover. It, all, it already is obviously water resistant, but if you want to get a little more of your you know, downpour or something, you've got a rain cover there. And then you've got, of course, your straps for tripods, two straps there. And then you've got this little part right here that folds out for the feet. If you have a larger tripod, you can fold that out and it just folds right back up underneath here with some Velcro. And of course, you can strap it down. You've got another strap here that comes across and that tripod is not going anywhere. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I've got in this Terrian Pro BP-01 uh, camera backpack. That's pretty much every bit of gear that I own right now, minus, like, you know, some battery chargers and things like that. And uh, I love it so far. Like I said, it fits everything I have, no problem. Um, tripod included, you know, everything I have to shoot, anything I want, uh, edit anything I want on the go, and it's perfect so far. So as long as it holds up, um, you know, that'll be a test of time. But for right now, I love it. This thing is unreal. So I'm going to pack it back up here and uh, sit down and talk to you guys and this video.
Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick one, not really a whole lot of information. Just wanted to show you guys what all the gear I've got in here. I had a whole bunch of new stuff. Like I said, the bag's new, the, the drone is new, the 70-300 to is new. The ADD is new for you guys. I really haven't filmed a whole lot since I got most of my setup now. So, um, Lots more videos coming. I got this new cool setup. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last video, uh, which was the first one in this new room, go check that out right up here. I'll be in one of these corners. Uh, talking about my coronavirus test um, and yeah so lots of cool stuff coming this was one that I wanted to film as soon as I got this bag I was like I knew I wanted to do a what's in my camera bag video because they're just fun I love watching them I watch them all the time from different people and I figured I'd make my own because well I finally have enough gear to actually make one so that's that hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing that hit that like button for me if you like the video and come back for more it's gonna be a whole lot more coming so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time